WETLAB stands for Waterloo Advanced Technology Laboratory. Its primary mission is to develop advanced technology applications through innovative basic research. WETLAB was established as a material characterization facility at Waterloo in the early 2000s. It has since evolved into a research centre for advanced material research and more recently for nanoscience and nanotechnology. Currently, WETLAB has about 20 million worth of equipment on site. They are provided by the Canadian Foundation for Innovation and the province of Ontario. It is the only centre fortunate enough to receive this kind of support multiple times at war. And it showed the commitment of government in uh, supporting this kind of applied and basic research. In the past, World Lab was awarded two major facilities, Access Grant by NSERT to help it to establish as a major research centre in Canada's technology China. Over the past 15 years, WetLab has established itself as one of the most efficiently run state-of-the-art material research centers in North America. Its operating costs are supported by highly competitive user fees and in part by Dr. Lee Young's own research grants from NSERC and other sources. It routinely operates at over 90% uptime for as many instruments, and there are many of them. In a recent user survey, 95% of users indicated that they were either fully or extremely satisfied with WetLab's service and operations. Almost all indicate that if WetLab were to shut down tomorrow, their research would severely suffer. WetLab offers a complete fleet of advanced instrument systems for material analysis and fabrication, where most of its instruments are not only state-of-the-art, but indeed unique. WetLab has three field emission scanning electron microscopes for high-resolution morphology studies, and more recently, an environmental SEM for looking at high outgassing biotype materials such as plants and bugs at pressures close to atmosphere. WETLAB has a unique TEM with the world's fastest EDX system for elemental mapping, as well as a dual beam focused ion beam system for TEM sample preparation and nano machining. WETLAB also has Canada's first helium ion microscope with a spatial resolution of 3.5 angstroms and extremely high depth of focus. WETLAB has three atomic force microscopes and a scanning tunneling microscope with atomic resolution. It has two X-ray diffractometers for crystallography studies of thin films and powders and a small angle X-ray scattering spectrometer for nano size and nano shape analysis. WETLAB has all areas of spectroscopies, including X-ray photoelectron spectroscope for chemical state compositional analysis by photoemission, an Auger electron microscope, and a full fleet of optical spectrometers for infrared, Raman, ultraviolet, and photoluminescence work. Recently, a new time of flight secondary ion mass spectrometer with a unique argon cluster source was installed in WETLAB for chemical imaging and static SIMS work. For bulk characterization, WETLAB has both physical and magnetic property measurement systems. These allow users to do heat capacity, electrical properties, and magnetic type experiments. In the past few years, we have actively set up new tools in material and device prototyping. This is very exciting because we are probably the only place in the world with unique capability in nanotechnology and nano fabrications. WETLAB can not only do massless optical lithography and electron beam lithography, it also has Canada's first ion beam lithography system, which includes a large right field and direct beam chemistry capabilities, allowing users to make nanometer size and 3D circuits. This wide range of tools makes WETLAB unique and offers its users a complete capability second to none in Canada and the world. We have a broad user base of, from over 11 departments, at the, both the science and engineering faculties at the uh, University of Waterloo. Currently, we have uh, 68 active user groups with over 100 students, postdocs, and research associates using our facilities. Our staff provide regular training for all our tools, including such instruments as the uh, field emission SEMs and the spectrometers. We also assist the users with developing their experiments and research programs. We ha also have about 20 industrial users 
mainly from the Kitchener-Waterloo area and southern Ontario. However, we occasionally have users coming from as far away as the West Coast, the United States, and even India and South Korea. The members of WetLab are doing really exciting research, from new nanomaterials for green energy applications, to catalysts for oil sand refineries, to remediation technologies for water research, to flexible and wearable electronics, and to nanomaterials for quantum computing. Being a large group, WetLab focuses on three core application areas. For the experiments on green energy, the group uses size-selected nanoclusters and one-dimensional nanostructures for hydrogen generation. What Labs group also builds inorganic, organic, and hybrid solar cells, where some of the solar cells have held world record photo conversion efficiencies. The second series of work is in the development of hybrid nanomaterials for biosensing and water remediation. These hybrid materials are unique and that they are usually built by combining two or more different things like nanomaterials, crystalline phase or defects, morphologies, and physical structures in some clever ways. These hybrid materials are very interesting because they offer new properties that individual component materials do not have. The third line of study is in the fabrication of quantum materials and nano devices for quantum electronic applications. WetLab has been using molecular beam apotaxy to build ultra-thin metal organic semiconductor structures. These can be considered as a metal insulator semiconductor device or an MIS. WetLab is also fortunate to have unique synthesis tools like a nano PLD system, and a high sensitivity PVD system coupled with DC and RF magnetron sputtering and a nano cluster source. WetLab often combines these fantastic synthesis tools with the fabrication systems like E-beam and IM beam lithography to build new nanoscale objects or circuits in three dimensions. The concrete examples are the fabrication of novel components such as memristors, phase change memories, and spintronic devices. What Lab has many outreach programs and offers regular lab tours to the public. It offers a disciplined but friendly environment for showcasing great research by leading the world of science and technology to new heights.